Hi, this is Prasenjit from Informatica. Today I'm going to discuss about the data processor common error while converting relation to hierarchical the duplicate primary key issue. Let's directly go back to that developer client. Let's see the issue. I am at the developer client right now. So there is the basic mapping. Uh, first of all, I created the data processor using a simple JSON file where I have chosen to convert relational data into JSON. I have two, three rows in, of input data. I will show the input data and based on that data processor, I have made a very simple mapping where I'm having that source in the expression. I'll go one by one transformation, whatever I have done in the expression, what is there in the data processor. So let's first see the input file how how does it look like so i have a very simple input file here two columns it has id and name and i'm sending four rows let's see what is there in the expression in the expression directly i have taken two columns one more additional field i have added and just for the sake of demo i have made it a hard coded value as 12 i'll explain why why this value is hard coded as 12 so basically in the relational to hierarchical data processor by default data processor will create the groups based on the format of the hierarchical data and uh, it will have primary key foreign key relationships so that data processor will internally use those values and make sure how whatever rows how doesn't matter how many rows you are passing from the input if they are with the same root it will be taken care by the data processor and uh, data processor will make sure that it is returning a single root multiple child elements I will show the example here let me run the data viewer on this first I will run the data viewer on the expression just to show how many rows are coming so it has four rows So this is the data. Let me copy and put it in a notepad first. So here is the JSON format. Uh, it is actually making sure that uh, under one root uh, there is a there is multiple child array elements. So data is good, but the problem with uh, other users we have uh, faced that about that error. Transformation group has received duplicate primary keys. So why this error is coming because in my data processor I am providing that 12 value to that key, uh, key group multiple times. Definitely if the primary key is received more than one time it will throw the error about duplicate primary keys. Okay. Data processor will ignore this error, will make it work and provide us the da data but definitely error message in the mapping log is not desired for all the users. I have came up with solution to avoid this error message. The mapping is already opened in my other window. Let's go there. If you have already seen the first mapping, it's pretty much similar to that first mapping. Only thing I have added a filter here. Okay, let's see what am I doing in that filter. So before that filter I have something changed in that expression as well. So I am using one counter variable where it is an integer type by default the value is 0 and it is adding counter plus 1 and there is output column is available which will basically for each row it will make sure that uh, count is increased. I'll show you the data viewer. Uh, I think the scenario will be clear here. So the output of the expression is pretty much clear. The counter is increasing 1, 2, 3, 4 and as expected in the filter I am making sure that only one time the counter will be passed that is counter equal to 1. That means for 4 input rows only one time this key uh, group will receive the values rows, input rows and uh, rest of the 
columns will receive uh, multiple times this is how it will make sure that one is only passed to that foreign keys and uh, that same value is passed to the key group only one time and let's see the result so as expected basically result will be same uh, my main focus is to check the mapping log whether we are facing the error or not so I am at the mapping log so yeah it doesn't have any other error so basically the main focus is to make sure how to provide only one row to that key group to that primary key group so that it won't throw any duplicate message this is how we are maintaining that primary key integrity and definitely during the development users can come up with some other ideas I just came up with that filtering idea you can use sorter and all based on your mapping complexity and data load hope this helps kindly provide your feedback using this URLs we would love to hear from you thank you